Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving this system of equations. We have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y is equal to 12. Then we also have x plus y is equal to 5. And we have to find the value of x and y. But before we begin, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try first. And if you're new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to call this equation, equation 1. Then I'll call this equation, equation 2. Now let's go ahead and then multiply everybody in equation 1 by 2 to the power x. Okay, so we have 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power y times 2 to the power x. And this is equal to 12 times 2 to the power x. Now from indices, if I have a to the power m times a to the power n, this is the same as a to the power m plus n, okay? So I can write this as 2 to the power 2x then plus, and I can also write this as 2 to the power y plus x, and this is equal to 12 times 2 to the power x. And from equation 2, we know y plus x to be 5 over here, right? So in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put 5. So we have 2 to the power 2x plus 2 to the power 5 is equal to 12 times 2 to the power x. Now simplifying this, I can write this 2 to the power 2x as 2 to the power x or to the power 2 then plus 2 to the power 5 is nothing but 32 and this is equal to 12 times 2 to the power x okay now from here let's go ahead and then set 2 to the power x to be equal to m okay so we have m to the second power plus 32 is equal to 12 m now let's go ahead and then equate everything to zero so we have m to the power 2 minus 12m plus 32 is equal to 0. And as you can see, we have a quadratic equation. So let's use factoring method to solve this. I'm going to find two values that if I multiply them, I'll be getting 32. But if I sum them up, I'll be getting negative 12. And the values are negative 8, negative 4. Okay. So this equation could be written as m to the second power minus 4m minus 8m plus 32 is equal to 0. Now from this whole thing, I'm going to take m out. So we have m into m minus 4. Then from this whole thing, I'm going to take negative 8 out. So we have m minus 4 and this is equal to 0. So we have m minus 8 as one of the factors. Then we also have m minus 4 as the other factor, and this is equal to 0. So at this point, I can say that m minus 8 is equal to 0, or m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now making m the subject from this equation, we have m is equal to 8. Then from here, we have m to be 4. And from the beginning, we said m to be 2 to the power x okay so if m is equal to 8 then we have 8 is equal to 2 to the power x and this 8 could be written as 2 to the power 3 and this is equal to 2 to the power x now you can see we have the same base so we can equate the exponent so this means that x is equal to 3 then when m is equal to 4 we have 4 is equal to 2 to the power x. And this 4 could be written as 2 to the power 2. And this is equal to 2 to the power x. Now since the bases are the same, we can equate the exponent. So this implies that x is equal to 2. Right. Now let's go ahead and then put these values into equation 2. That is x plus y is equal to 5. Okay. So when x is equal to 3, we have 3 plus y is equal to 5. Now making y the subject, we have y is equal to 5 minus 3, and this implies that y is equal to 2. Then from here, when x is equal to 2, we have 2 plus y is equal to 5. 
Making y the subject, we have y is equal to 5 minus 2, and this is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3. Okay, so this implies that x1, y1 is equal to 3, comma 2. Then from here, we have x2, y2 is equal to 2, comma 3. And this is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.